Hi guys, as you know, due to Facebook's policies, I gave up all my Oculus Quest, but here are the things that I miss the most about it. Let's go. By the way, a big welcome to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and also VR educational entertainment. If it's your first time here to the platform, very nice to meet you. And a huge, of course, welcome back to all our regular subscribers. It's always awesome to have you with us. If you've been following the channel for quite some time now, you'll know that basically since Facebook had breached antitrust and anti-competitive laws, we decided to sell all our Oculus Go's and Oculus Quest and not purchase the second Oculus Quest 2. So, you know, even though Pico, however, have sent us the Pico Neo 2 and we also became official channel partners with HP who sent us the HP Reverb G2, well, there are quite a number of areas that actually I do miss the Oculus Quest for a number of different reasons. So I thought it would be quite interesting to share this with you today. The first thing that I miss quite a lot about the Oculus Quest is the inside of the user interface. It's designed in a very user-friendly way. Everything seems to have a place as to where everything is. And it's just very easy to navigate and find everything that you need to find, especially when they had launched the second revamped user interface. It made it even easier to find everything. What I also miss a lot is the fact that it's very interactive. You can connect with people extremely easily, make friends. I mean, I know, of course, Facebook have the social media, which means that they have tons of different users. And when you're a friend on Facebook, then of course, when you join the Oculus ecosystem, then you can connect with all these various different people. The store is also something I miss a lot. The Oculus Quest store has tons of different apps that you can purchase versus other stores. For example, the Windows Mixed Reality store is quite hard. You really have to go to the Steam store or the EA games or Origins to find your various different apps to be able to play where the Oculus just has everything inside of it, especially as a standalone, you don't have to go and find PC VR titles. So that's something else that I miss quite a lot. The snugness when you put the Oculus on your face is also something that I miss. Even though the Oculus Quest was quite front heavy and apparently the Oculus Quest 2 by Facebook is also apparently quite heavy, even though, you know, they have various different straps available. Apparently, you know, you can still feel it on your face. But what I really do miss is the mold of the actual Oculus Quest. I think it really fit my face very nicely. It has this, you know, kind of oval circular shape, which is very, very useful for people you know, specifically Westerners. It is true that when I did a lot of events, the Asians didn't particularly care too much about the Oculus because their face had more of a flat kind of surface. But you know, as far as I'm concerned, it is something that I miss quite a lot. And even though PC VR is just absolutely amazing in terms of the graphics, it cannot be compared to the standalone Oculus Quest version. Even if you're using, of course, a virtual desktop, it still means that you need to have a PC VR you know, ready machine in order to run the various different apps from the actual Steam itself. But being able to play games on a standalone machine without necessarily having to be tied back to the computer every single time is something that I do miss tremendously. There are various different apps where you don't need, you know, that much graphical power, which will enable you to have a really good, amazing VR experience without, of course, necessarily needing a PC VR ready machine. For example, Old Space VR, you can go and network with people, meet people, make new friends. You don't need a PC to do that kind of stuff. Racket NX is just an app that I miss so much. Being able to hit that ball as hard as I possibly can in any direction that I want without having to think about my cable, where it is, whether I'm gonna entangle into it or fall or anything like that. I mean, I really miss that. And another one called Stride, where you can just run as fast as possible and jump on different walls and all this kind of stuff. I mean, again, with the cable, it gets in the way and I just, you know, it would be awesome for standalone to compete with the Quest because there is something about standalone and the Quest where, you know, you're playing these kind of experiences that I really do miss a lot. The other area that I miss quite a lot using the Quest in terms of the standalone performance, not thinking so much about graphics, is the fact that I can play in any room, anywhere that I want. I can go to a friend's house or I can play in my kitchen if I want or living room or wherever. It doesn't matter, outside or whatever. But with a PC VR, I'm, you know, hooked up to the PC. It's very limited as to where I can go. So, you know, that again is something that I miss quite a lot. And another aspect of the Oculus Quest that I miss a lot is actually hand tracking. Being able to put the controllers down and just using your hands to manipulate objects in a virtual environment is actually pretty awesome and it's something that you cannot at the moment experience on any other device other than the Oculus Quest on a consumer front. 
Anyway, so even though the Pico Neo 2 is a really impressive VR device when it comes to standalone, both in terms of graphics and how it works, you know, it's not meant for the consumer and it just doesn't have the library of all the content there. So they do have a lot to play catch up on, but I really do look forward to the day where there's going to be multiple devices that can finally take on Facebook and, you know, give them a good run for their money's worth. And before we go, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you guys for going to our merch store and making some purchases. Make sure to send us the picture after you receive the item so that we can give you a huge shout out on the channel. And of course, thank you so much everyone else for having gone to the videos and watched them and liked them and also for having left all your various different comments. Really awesome. Really love you guys. See you in the next video.